turn the video off while I was doing the uh, fucking intro. Stoner powers activated. Right now. Dab time. Right now. Right now. Oh, right hey. here. Right now. It says now live on your channel, West Coast Wake and Bake. Ooh, West Coast Wake and Bake. We should check it out. Sounds like fun. I already did <sighs> my work this morning. I already played a few rounds of that there Modern Warfare War Zone. Modern Warfare. Modern Warfare, Modern Warzone. Modern Warzone. They may as well just call it Modern Warzone instead of Modern Warfare, Warzone. Because, I mean, it's, it's kind of like Modern, Modern Warfare and Warzone. It's Modern Warfare, Warzone. I'm trying to figure out where this gray hair is that I'm seeing. And I'm, there it is. What voice is that? Oh, <laughs> What's up, Ashley? What up, Totally Todd Rick? Totally Todd. I'm not totally high yet, but I'm working Rick. on it, dude. <laughs> totally Todrick, man. Okay, Ashley, did you say awesome bagel to the video last night because you caught my goodbye? Is that what that was? I'm hoping it was because I was like, yes, yeah, someone saw it. <laughs> Good morning. Whoever this was, will you please go up to the description? If you, you probably might have even already done this. Go up to the description at the end of the thing that says I'm using StreamYard, blah, 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 blah. At the end of the sentence, it says StreamYard.com slash Facebook. Just click or touch that, click or touch allow, and then I can see your face like this. So instead of like this. Dabbing 101. Make sure your nail is. She on. said yes. Oh, was it off? <laughs> Did you go to get it to hit and it yes. was not? Oh no. <laughs> oh. So Whitney. Whitney, Whitney always does that. Either that or has she actually gone up to there? Because the one time she did um she did like the first one or two times that that happened. I don't know why. It, it seems to be her and like a select few other people. You and I think the only other person I've seen that with was Kimberly Sailor and uh, there was one other. What's up, Brett? What's Holy up, fuck, Brett? Dude, long time no long see, time. man. Yeah, like Brett hasn't been on in a long time, but his is still showing that he's done it. So maybe it has something to do with you like uh, clearing, your cookies. clearing your cookies or cash or something. It doesn't remember that you've already approved that through the StreamYard software. That's the only thing I can think it of. It almost has to be because um, it's only certain people having that problem. 50 more degrees. I'm turning mine up too because it feels like it needs a little time to wake up because it's taken a little while today. Either that or I'm just impatient as fuck. I think we're just impatient. Yeah, I can't get it. So, Whitney, short answer no, you should not have to do it every time. Oh, there it is. Okay, see, I don't understand. It has to be something with cookies or something like that. What's up, Nicole? How's it going? <coughs> <coughs> yeah, Ashley, I saw your plant. <coughs> I appreciate you <coughs> posting and saying, <coughs> show me your plants, because there's a lot of people growing on our page. <coughs> <coughs> I also did a thing, and uh, with the help of some of the moderators, we went through and we're going to start <coughs> classifying posts under topics. So that way, if there's a topic you want to read on, like flower or concentrates or edibles or growing or memes or something specific, you can click on that link and you'll see just those posts. I'm hoping that <coughs> Melissa Love posts her um, gummy recipe in the edibles for people. Is she willing to share it? I know she shared it with you, but is she willing to share it? I'm sure she is. Yeah, I'm sure she would be. I can reach out to her and ask her if she would. Whitney and Ronnie have... Uh, Gummies, too, they made oh. a whole bunch of them. They, she said they're super potent. Gummies are <coughs> something I haven't tried yet. <clears throat> I think it'd be uh, fun to make them, though. I'd like to get some molds of some pot leaf gummies, and I'd sell them at work. Oh. Yeah. I got enough guys at work that smoke or enjoy edibles. I don't know if you should say that. You'd sell them at work. Well, 
Hello, if you're on the page and you're, you work with me, then you probably know that I would do that. <laughs> it is what it is. I mean, <coughs> what they do outside of work is not. What is she doing? She just Tangie, I wouldn't go in there. That shit stinks. Oh, yeah. I just came out of there. I had to light a candle um, for those that died from the smell. They sell them on Macari for like $10. Which one? What? What do they sell them in? Um, Maybe gummies, I'm guessing. Potentially. I don't know what Macari Tangie. I don't you know need what to lay down. Macari is. I don't either. She gets really amped up What's up, up Josh Pierce? And we got a lot of cords around, and she just, she, uh. Oh. She said, we're learning the dosage. They are heavy, but so worth it. The I'm, molds. Oh, the molds. molds. Oh, the pot leaf molds. <coughs> the pot leaf molds. Okay. Okay. You can go yeah. check it out there. I'd be down to do that. The only thing I'd be afraid of is I don't have the patience. It's a selling app and buying app. Okay. I've never heard of it, but now I'll check it out. You don't have the patience for what? Uh, Making gummies. It's just kind of like. I'm gonna guess it's kind of like making Jello, and you just got to keep stirring and stirring and stirring and stirring and stirring and stirring. I don't know. I'm fine no. now. I have a little more patience than I thought. Literally, all you do is make the gelatin mixture, dump yeah. it in your molds, and put it in the refrigerator and let it set and chill. Really? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. It almost seems too easy. I love this song, but I hate the fact that they play the video and it's got all these theatrics and you hear guns shooting and people talking. It's like, just let's listen to the fucking song. That's what we're here for. Well, it's the official video, so you could listen to just the song. If you use my name, you get $10 off your first purchase, and I get money too. So you use my link, I'll give it to you. Okay, yeah, send it to me. <laughs> I actually said the same thing you said yesterday. I just said that Damn yesterday. you got a long-ass tongue. I was like, holy fuck, she yawned, and I swear to God, her tongue came out like a cartoon tongue, and that shit was like all the way out here. I was like, what the fuck? You got a weird-ass alien tongue. Hi, baby girl. She's so sweet, though. She is. I don't see a lot of people that have their dog so forcefully affectionate. She loves attention. She does. She She's a diva, though. Okay, so truth be told, at night when she goes to bed, she'll go in her kennel, she'll curl up in her ball, and she'll just wait. And then what she's waiting for is for me to come in. I grab this, what is it, a plush blanket? A plush blanket, and I put it over, and I actually take my hat off, and I kind of half-ass crawl in the kennel with her, and I tuck it, tuck it around her. <laughs> Then I go up to her and I give her kisses on her forehead. Then she lifts her head up like this. I give her kisses on the side of her muzzle. And then she lays her head down. And that's how we say goodnight. That's a thing. Every night. It's a thing. Every What's up, night. Carolyn? How's Same it going? Routine. What's up, Carolyn? Um, that's exactly what she did. She yawned. Yeah. She's a, she's a weird one. <coughs> we embrace the weirdness, though. <laughs> Tell him what happened in the hallway yesterday. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so we were walking down the hallway after just taking her outside. Mm -hmm. Now let me remind you, it's raining outside. And Tangie hates, hates the rain. Hates it. We got her a coat because of that. So it was, uh, it was raining. And so she comes back to us after she gets done going to the bathroom. We come down the hallway and she starts looking at her butt like, hey. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing back there? Uh-uh. Nope. What are you doing? I was like, what the fuck is she doing? She's going to start chasing her tail going down the hallway. And like, then all of a sudden, her poop. tail starts coming up. And you see that butthole puckering <laughs> like this. I was like, no, you don't. Come on, come on, come on, come on. And we ran her all the way downstairs <laughs> and outside. And she still wasn't going to shit. She hates the rain. She was going to hold it. I said, girl, you do not want to hold it. We're going to wait right here for that any to become an Audi. Oh, man. I was like, no, no, no. Because she randomly will do that. We'll be walking down the hallway and just poop. One turd pops out. Like, where the fuck did that come from? She got these little <laughs> sneak a turds. Sneak a turds. Yesterday at my work, we took her there while I was uh, working on some shit. And uh, <coughs> her and I were just, no, that's the day before. Yeah. The day before, we were just walking down the aisle. And as she's walking, she's like, boop, 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 boop. Like, she didn't miss a fucking step. I was like, what the fuck? Everybody's like, hey, Troy. I was like, we were just walking like. <laughs> How did you, like, how the fuck does that happen? I couldn't poop and walk, even if my body, like, really had to go. I There's no way I could poop and walk. I don't think I could poop and walk. I don't know how a dog poops and walks, because they make it go like this. Because when they walk, you know, they're shit. Well, I don't know. Yeah. That's for another time. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> there, four weeks, so a full month today. <clears throat> yeah, sometimes, uh, actually, Whitney, people are starting posts for the contest. Um, put a little piece of paper with your, it's saying hashtag I love weed live or make something that says hashtag I love weed live. Put it in front of them, post a picture of it. Ashley started a thread with uh, asking people to show their plants. Yeah, so. and uh, there's a topic in the group now called growing. So people can, you can actually assign a topic to your post. That way it categorizes all the posts on the page. So if someone has questions on growing or information or just wants to post a picture, they can tap, they can put their the topic on there. And then other people can just go to that if they want to see stuff on growing and all the posts will be in there. We're going to try to make an organized resource. Yeah. Kind of like a, a catalog, a, the, a page catalog. Yep. Yeah. And it's also in the end going to help me with this contest as well because we're going to, any of the hashtag videos are going to go under the contest topic. Hashtag photos. Yep. Hashtag photos. So it's going to be really good. Yeah. I, I think we got a solid month and three quarters. So actually, I think as of today, a month and three quarters. Today is the, uh, show me the date, the 17th. So another month of put us at June 17th. Yeah, so exactly a month and three weeks. Yep. It'll actually be on a Friday, so I guess <clears throat> minus two days. We're part of the 420 Growers Club for the same thing. Oh, I'm, nice. I'm in the 420 Growers Club. Are you? Yep. I wonder if I should share the, uh, the event to them. I don't remember how big the group is, though. You're going to get sick of me if you haven't yet. <laughs> no, it's okay. There's not going to be a cap on any of the stuff, so I have to have a way to to be able to group it and find stuff. So, Rob from CLTV, what does that mean? Shout out, Rob from CLTV. Saying like, what up? What is CLTV? I'm going to guess it's, I have no idea. Whitney, you're going to have to um, put a little Elaborate. A detail in there for us because now I'm really interested in what that means. I'm guessing it's somebody from 420 Growers. Oh. That's what I'm guessing. Okay. I have to blow my nose. Okay. Whenever I dab, I got to blow. Dab I and blow. Probably I'm going to take a dab out of the rig. Um, I don't know what I want to dab. I hate and love having so many fucking options. Uh, I think that's King's Blend. It's a little early for that. I'm going to have some Asian persuasion, number one. Uh, I have a green thumb for growing, thanks to my stepdad. The owner of Growers Club. Okay, that's who it is. Uh, owner of Growers Club. Okay, so I like to grow too, but here's the thing. I don't want to get us in any legal trouble here. Because, you know, I've been trying to do everything the legal way and right way. I know I break the law sometimes, but. I try to do things on the up and up and they don't allow us to grow right now. And we live in an apartment building, so I don't want us to get in trouble. So yeah, I'm that guy. I'm just not willing to take that risk right now. We got way too much to risk. So we have to make a decision very fast on if we're going to stay in this apartment or go to another apartment. We're going to clean your bone today. Oh, what's up, Ronnie? <coughs> what up, Ronnie? He said, this is Ronnie. <laughs> Screw you and all your options, she said. <laughs> Kimbo Kush time. Nothing like Dr. Jolly's to wake the lungs up. Yeah, you got some good stuff, Josh. That's for sure. My turn. Baby, I could be your genius. <coughs> Carolyn said <coughs> she kills everything, <coughs> but really wants to grow. Uh... <coughs> <coughs> Washington has a medical marijuana card? I didn't know that. <coughs> I think still... it gets you discounts <coughs> at the pot shops. <coughs> at certain pot shops. Some, I think. Ooh. Well, we got Incredible smells hell loud. Oh. <coughs> we, so we got a couple new ones. <coughs> um, we got some Cold Stone ones. Cold Smoke. Right? Not cold so not the ice cream. We love the ice cream though. Not gonna lie. <laughs> We've older, ordered cold stone at like eight, nine o'clock at night. Many because... times I'm ashamed of. <coughs> Ooh, 
lucid <coughs> sapphire and lucid cherry pie OG. Dang, what brand do you guys have? What company? What uh, distributor? Yeah, because they're in Washington, so yep. we might be able to get our hands on what they have. Okay, I got to tell you guys, if you can get your hands on Dabstract's Opal Sugars, do it. They're like little do baby it. diamonds. They got Legends of Nigeria and Opal Sugar. And they also have Evergreen OG. Oh, yeah. Those are the energy. two that I've seen. So <coughs> they're they're really, it's really, 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 really good. I'm going to do some straw man, a head stash mixed with some blue Seed haze. called fucking incredible and Pitbull mixed seven years step stabilizations and extracts. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, I'm excited to see your things. For some reason, it was making me gag. So now I put it on joints. And blunts, I'm sad. The rig makes me cough so bad. My tolerance is low again. I get that maybe, too. Maybe see if you can do cold start dabs instead. She has a nail though. Oh. Hmm. Um. I wouldn't even know what to suggest. Now you're thinking. Yeah, I'd smell because smoke. because I have problems sometimes where if I get too big of a hit, I cough gag. <coughs> <coughs> it's been happening quite a bit lately. Oh. So I understand what you're saying, Stephanie. Can I go to the, whole, sorry. to the little joke that people make about, you know, I don't understand how women gag on a toothbrush but can shove a dick down their throat and not gag. I don't know how that works. Toothbrush. Dick. <coughs> how does... <coughs> because... <laughs> oh fuck! You're gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna woman explain <coughs> to you. <laughs> okay. Bean Farm Seeds is a seeding company we went through. Okay. Okay. Nobody saw that, right? <laughs> no, we didn't see the hole in your chin. <laughs> I got a whole chin in. <coughs> fuck. Um. <coughs> Oh, we were just singing this song before this even came on. <coughs> In our brand new <coughs> hemper subscription. It's nice. Nice. See, I got <coughs> one of those right here. Josh, that's a really good suggestion on lowering the temp. It depends on what um what temp you have it at. <coughs> oh my fuck. <coughs> Bagel okay. down. Follow the crumbs. Oh, is this gonna say? <coughs> I had something I was going to say. Oh, I was going to woman explain the whole toothbrush dick thing, right? Oh, yeah. Okay, so if you look at a toothbrush, <coughs> it's a lot like it's more slender, yeah. right? And when you're brushing, usually when you t when you uh, gag is when you're brushing your tongue. Yeah. So you're not like going all the way back past the gag reflex. You're literally just teasing that gag reflex with your toothbrush. That is more pointed. So is the way that a woman could eventually desensitize himself to gagging by using a toothbrush and making himself almost gag? I don't know because I'll gag every single time on a toothbrush, but not necessarily. Not on a dick, she don't. <laughs> See, I'm you know what they say, he got to flaunt it, right? Oh, shit. <coughs> <coughs> oh my gosh, I'm about to delete my one photo. Why? What's up, Caitlin? <coughs> You, oh, did somebody say something? Like when boys told girls in high school to try to this. touch their elbows together behind their backs. So, like like this, like trying to get your, doing this so your chest comes out, I'm guessing. Yeah, like to make your boobs pop out. Oh, I didn't know that was a thing. <laughs> oh, shit. I'll snap a pic of babies with I Love Weed Live and I'm definitely posting it. Yeah, yeah, do it. Do it. I think it's Ronnie still, but I don't know. Um, Ashley, uh, what post is it that I'm sure you have a lot? Did you find it? Yeah. What is it? What are they? What are they saying? Josh is already on it. Okay. Josh, thank you, man. Josh is already on it. He said, "If you're gonna nitpick, he's basically trying to say that it wasn't even a pot plant that she's growing, and <clears throat> why grow it with dirt from your backyard and." Those kind of comments that we don't, we don't condone. We don't let people 
uh, just sit and degrade or put down other people's stuff. Some people have access to stuff. Other people don't. Some people can't get stuff that other people can. Not everybody is as experienced in everything in life. Sometimes people are going to do things their way because that's the best way they can or the best way they know. Instead of being a dick, educate, talk. Right. I feel like with the um, with like the growing situation specifically, I feel like it's uh, people feel like they're know it alls when it comes to growing in some instances. So when they see something, they're like, oh, they, that's like the easiest thing to pinpoint is yeah. the quality of weed that somebody is growing or how they're doing it or something along those lines. Kind of like the people from other countries, you know, some people in other countries uh, have access to very low quality wheat. Their stuff looks more like, like a weed. I mean, mm-hmm. than actual weed. Mm-hmm. I dare somebody to talk shit about their weed in our page. I would. I would dare them to fucking say something bad about their weed. That's what they have access to. That's the only way that they can get high. It's a commonality that we all <laughs> share. It's not our place to to pick and choose what quality of weed that, that somebody is smoking yeah it's not our place to say well that fucking looks like shit yeah it may look like shit but maybe that's all they can get mm-hmm. you know maybe that's all they have access to mm-hmm. matter of the point is they love smoking weed just like the rest of us yeah that's what you should focus so on. you welcome them and you say <coughs> stay high dude and have fun there you go and ashley i believe your plan will grow just fine as long as you do all the things that you know you need to do and sometimes outside variables can affect things. Even if you yourself do everything right, something else might make it so, exactly. so it doesn't work. Like or vice instance, versa. You could do something wrong and something else makes it still work. Well, like, for instance, David Moore said yesterday that he was having well, issues Christian. with his clones rooting, right? Yeah. So he goes live this morning. His clones are rooted now. Like, yep. something that he did or whatever had an impact on on it and just like overnight they had solid rooting yep nice big old roots you can see sticking out of the side of the sacks <laughs> what's goody in the hoodie how's it going tristan oh tristan. i'm gonna continue cleaning later nicole have a good day nicole um tristan i wanted to tell you if you ever need anything from you know where hit me up because i get really good discounts okay from you know where. <laughs> I like that. It's cute. It's like now you guys have your own little insides. We have our own little insides. He knows where. He knows what I'm talking about. What are you doing? Oh, sour head or uh, a straw in a head stash. Head stash. Yeah, yeah. Yep. <coughs> <coughs> Gonna try to do blunts by the beach some days of the week. Get me out of the house. Are your beaches open? I know you probably left, but I want to see if Damon Point is open yet. Damon Point? Yeah. Again? Yeah. Now that we were more wise to the ways, yeah. I feel like there's better places to go. Like where we went the last time, we just go there again? Or find another place. Keep on this, like, new adventure thing. She said, yeah, they're open. Okay, I was told to try hydro. Oh, like, uh... Thank you, like, Josh. Like, growing through hydroponics. I didn't know you could do that, that you could mute them for a week. So that means that they can't post in the group? Yeah, they can't. Is it somebody we know? No. Oh. Joshua Groves. Uh, I'm calling out and put him on blast on live because you know, he looks like a. I, oh, he looks like a weird doctor dad, or like a. a, a He's like, been on the page since October. Like he would be a chiropractor. That's what he looks like. Yeah, he just doesn't need to be judgmental or a dick. Right. Especially Looking if Josh is asking him nicely to, you know, to stop. Hi, Caitlin. I don't know if I said hi, but hello. My next grow will be way better as I'm learning and getting the hang of it. It's my first time. Yeah. Go into admin tools to go to members and can do it there. That's cool. Oh, okay. Thanks, Josh. 
Thanks, Josh. I appreciate appreciate you doing that. I don't. I was hoping that, <coughs> that wouldn't happen, but you know, as the numbers start to grow too, you're, We're gonna have there's going to be more and more people that you're just going to lose the quality and like that. Hopefully the family grows. You're not going to lose it. You're just going to have chances that one or two is going to pop. You know, some are going to pop their head up. But that's that's what it's going to take to be able to get those people filtered out. Yeah. I mean, we got just, a bucket full of nice, beautiful, shiny rocks. But once we run them through the sifter, we're going to pick out all the small ones. So all we got left is the big ones, the quality ones. <laughs> I like rocks, so that worked out for me. Oh, my gosh. But just because it's small doesn't mean it's not quality. We got tons of agates, but there's a few pieces that were actually quartz. Quartz? Okay. There Much we go. Better. Yeah. Much better. Much better. That one more. I love agates. <laughs> just so you know. I dealt with mm. an adult. I don't want to get kicked out, so I did it the nice way. Yeah. If anyone ever has any problems with somebody on the page, you just, in your post, tags one of the moderators, one of the admins. They'll take care of it. Yeah. All you got to do is let us know, you guys. And if we don't reply to you right away, reach out to another one because we don't allow that kind of stuff. Don't feed into it. Don't fuel it. Just kind of go about your business. Tag one of us and we'll take care of it. Mm -hmm. Do you bring your dog? Oh, yeah. We take Tangie with us. Tangie goes everywhere with us. She pretty much does. She's a great trail dog. Believe it or not, she's a better trail dog than she is... Um, going anywhere else like walking down the street yeah i'd rather take her for a walk on the trail than down the street you know like i'd rather take her down the trail than just walk to the corner store which is like 100 yards away oh fucking hate walking with her to the corner store yeah you put her on the trail mm -hmm. she's in her element she can still run around and stuff but she comes back she stays right within range she'll go so far then she'll stop and look back she'll go so far stop and look back caitlin did you break your new bomb the down stem, the piece that goes in here, like you go. Yeah, but she literally just got that, like maybe a month ago. That oh, new bong. I've used it instead of going in for stitches several times, but I don't do doctors at all. I've done the super glue thing. I super glued like a lot <laughs> of different people's parts, their body back, like covered up, and they're fine. We got a resident little nurse here. <laughs> Take a picture and send it to me. I'll let you know if you need stitches. stitches. See, there we go. Yeah, we take her off <coughs> leash. I know we're not supposed to. It really depends on the trail. It depends and on the amount of people. Amount of people. We should check and see if that one is open today. That one that has the part you can walk around and stuff. Magnuson Park. Magnuson Park. Okay. We should see if that's open. My Looks like the sun's popping out. Fish grill of glue almost died the other day because I put too cold of water in the tank. Oh, damn. you have a fret fish named Gorilla Glue? What kind of fish is it? You know what I love? I love the dog face puffer fish. They have those at Walmart you can buy. No, not no, Walmart. not the that's dog. That's a leopard spotted puffers that are brackish water. Yeah, I like those little puffer fishes, but I like the dog face puffer fish. That's a saltwater fish. Okay, Google. It looks like a dog. Dog face puffer fish. You take Shadow with you. Oh, I've caught these before. They got very big teeth. Wait, you've caught them before? Yeah, I've caught those before. What? Yeah, you catch. Uh, okay, when I was fishing on the pier in uh, in Miami, we would always fish off the end, and there's a lot of rocks outside the pier, so you get a lot of the animals. Mine doesn't work. Can you get it big? I want to get it big. I hate androids. I'm starting to hate it. What the French toast? There that you. works. I want to show you guys this little dude. It reminds me of Howie Mandel on the movie Little Monsters. That's why she doesn't do city walks because she's on a leash. Exactly. It's a glowfish shark. Okay, Google. Glowfish shark. According to glowfish, while glowfish sharks are members of the minnow family, what? not actual sharks, they can reach they look like tetras. in length, making them the largest variety of glowfish. Oh, there. They're kind of are a tetra. What color is yours? 
Tristan. It looks like there's a green one, really like neon, a blue one, a magenta colored one. I've I've super glued super glue up the time to just think because it's the tip of the finger. Oh, she cut the tip, just the tip. That's a no boy no. Oh, she said, oh, I like that fish. Yeah, they're really fucking cute. Okay, Tristan's is orange. Uh, Tristan's fish okay. is orange. Caitlin wants an albino boa. You had an albino boa? I want a, um, I want a tarantula. There's these little ones that are like, well, they're not super little, but they have blue toes. They're called like a, what? A blue toed tarantula, right? Uh, cobalt blue. It's, or are you talking about the other one? No, this one is just the toes. It's I'm there's a striped sure, knee tarantula. I'm pretty sure it's called a blue toed tarantula. Okay, I Google. <laughs> blue toed tarantula. Oh, what's up, Rob? How's it going? Uh, pink toad. Pink toad. That's what it is. That's what it was. Pink toad. That is really pretty. Yes. I want to get a cobalt blue tarantula. That's what I want. Gonna be in and out of service. What's up, Rob? How's okay. it going, man? No worries, actually. <coughs> we'll be here. We got nothing to do. We ain't go nowhere. I'm getting better at modern warfare. I don't know if she you guys, I, I've been bitching about how terrible I am, but I'm actually getting better. Dude, she had seven kills yesterday. And like and three, so it was good. I'm hanging out in like my 0.4 to 0.5 kill to death ratio. I know it sounds, it is atrocious, but it's good for me. Like makes it enjoyable. How many, we stayed up until 1.30 last night. <coughs> no, I think it was even later than that. We played video games for hours. It was a little after one when we went to bed. When's the next adventure? Maybe next weekend. <coughs> if, it, if I would have known it was going to be sunny today, we would have planned one today. Hey, did you guys see the crystal <coughs> that Troy got when we went to Hampton? <coughs> uh, and by North Bend? Remember when we went to Hanson Creek a couple weekends ago? It wasn't a real big one. We were talking to Ronnie and Whitney about them um, meeting us. Remember? They mm -hmm. said they were three hours away. Yep. So, I remember that. So yesterday he made a sifter for us to go back to that place because now we know what we need. Um, but he found crystals while we were there. Uh, it wasn't as productive as we wanted it to be, but that's because we didn't have the supplies that were needed. <coughs> so I made me a nice heavy duty sifter and I'm excited to get up there now. The only thing that sucks is the fucking side of the mountain is so steep where we, where you go that you're literally like using trees as footholds as you go up and other people's holes and you got these fucking 20, 30, 40 foot tunnels in there and then you walk on top of one and it's been raining all day, it could collapse in. You just got to be careful. <laughs> Some of those other people's holes you just don't want to go in. Yeah, because they got poop in the holes. My my PSN is Bagelor. Is yeah, that it is. is that what Bagelor. I would say? Yep. Yeah. B a g e l o r e. Yeah. Like, Nobody else has it. She made it up. Like um, it's my Pokemon name. If you were to take me and put me into Pokemon, my name would be Bagelor. And whenever we go, I say, I am Bagelor, and then we go. That's my experience of her playing Pokemon on my phone. We tried to download Pokemon on her phone. We downloaded it, and it just gets nowhere. <laughs> oh, shit. I did. She is almost seven foot long and used to wrap around my body and her head on my shoulder <coughs> as we walked around. What's she talking about? A what? Okay, hold on. I did. She was almost. She had a, a albino boa. Oh, Okay. Oh, that's scary. That seems scary. <coughs> Not me. I. I think that sounds fun. I had, a, I had a bearded dragon that would do that. I'd always let it run around here. I'd run around with my beard. He's hanging on my shirt inside my jacket. I'd have a couple of them on when I had a couple of them. Hitman, like the movie? Like that movie Hitman? They yeah, that's a, a game too. Oh, yeah. okay. A lot okay. of movies have games that get correlated with the storyline. 
there was one thing that I got frustrated with is I thought that I had a daily challenge where I had to kill 10 people with my secondary gun. So I was trying to do that and I, I did really good and I hit the 10 people, but then I go back and I look at my thing and it just says one slash 10. We come to find out it was his challenge. And I don't use my secondary weapon very Not often. Not mine. So I did that for no this reason. This dog is nuts. She meant dog. Oh, <laughs> What's up, Crystal? Good morning. Show and tell time soon so we can see. Show, no, we didn't. show them your crystal. Oh. It won't take long to show your crystal. No. Todd said goober dab. I've definitely learned to be careful of strangers' holes. Yes, you never know what you're going to find. <laughs> I don't know why I keep moving. I don't feel like I'm moving, but apparently I am. That's a crystal. I can't do this when I'm high. <laughs> Quit moving it for a second. I'm trying. It looks you like you're holding a really small crystal dick. <laughs> I don't know if it's a me problem or an it problem. Okay, I give up. I'll send you a picture. <laughs> Caitlin said that was cute. That must have been to my Bangalore thing. Yeah. Uh, can we do that again? <laughs> <laughs> you just got to calm sometime. <laughs> That's funny. If Trevor's looking, frustrated because he can't comment on the live. Oh, if y'all ever looking for a romantic weekend to somewhere in Oregon, definitely check out the inn at Spanish Head. We're going to stay there for a honeymoon, little pricey, but top-notch floor-to-wall windows overlooking the ocean. Wow, Josh, that sounds amazing. I know your um, honeymoon plans kind of got ruined, basically, by all the COVID stuff going on. And I'm very happy to see that you guys are still going to get to get away and enjoy each other a little bit. A lot of it. A lot of it? I'm hoping a lot of it. You better get in that enjoyment, yo. What game? Pokemon. Pokemon, Christian. No, fuck. No, that's not what you're talking about. You're talking about what game we play. Warzone. Yes. But we have the actual game, not the, the Battle Royale. I don't do the Battle Royale. I don't think... We might try it out and see if Kristen likes it, just to see if she likes it. But um, where did you find that crystal? I found it in Hanson Creek. In Washington, that's where we live. That's really pretty. You found that? Yeah, we. Um, he dug it. Now I'm not gonna say we, because I had no part in it. I climbed all over the fucking place. I but was. I was very more. leery of going in the holes. I'm not gonna lie, because. On the side of the mountain where they've dug it in, what they've done is they've dug under tree roots. Huge so trees. So they've went in and they've basically um, Made a hobbit removed, hole. removed all of the dirt that's underneath those trees and hollowed it out underneath there. And that kind of scares me. So I, I am very leery about it. Well, when you get underneath there, though, when you got the big ones that are like literally like a hobbit hole, they use stones and stabilize the tree. <laughs> Any place called Spanish Head has to be romantic. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Fucking Rob. Are Dean. those Spanish girls doing it a certain way? Uh, don't ask me. I guess I need to talk to my good friend Gabby. She's a Latina and see if she's got some skills she needs to, like, not give me, but tell me about. <laughs> she can't no, give me Knowledge is power. Let's share what this shit. What if you could share skills? Like, you know what? Today I need to do this. And I didn't know how to do this. So you grab this book, you open it up, and bam, now you know how to do it. Oh, no, I was thinking that you find a person. There's a, a electronic database of people that have those skills, and you find that person and be like, yo, I need this, and then they transfer their skill to you, and then for a second you can do whatever, not maybe a second, but while you're them, basically, yeah. with that skill, you get to like have their knowledge. Sound like a conscious conscience transference? Yeah, and then you give it back. Well, you know, it's kind of funny you said it because that's like one of the the most like top level intelligence things that people want. Like 
the things, one of the last things that will ever happen is your brain being able to go into another body. We'll be traveling in time before we'd be transferring consciousness. Well, if you look at the theory, though, that the consciousness isn't actually coming in the mind, in the mind then there is a possibility that you've already had a consciousness transference. That's a fact. Okay. I, I can see that. So deep thought of the day for all of you stoners. So did you know there is no scientific way to prove that the, our conscious, like our, our existence, our who we are is not, we, there's no proof. It's actually coming from our brain. There's nothing in, in any science that says that can prove that our conscience is in our brain. For all we know, it could be something completely fucking different. I mean, for all we know, your pinky toe could be your conscience. It could be a wavelength that we haven't even been able to decipher yet. Right. It could be so much stuff. That's crazy to think about. How do about. you know our brain? They said it already. They already know it works with electronics. I was going to say, What yeah. if that's like an antenna, a receptor, and something else is controlling our conscience with wavelengths? Oh, my fuck. Mm, deep thought of the day. There's no proof There's con that your consciousness comes from your brain. Think about that. Like, and then they know that your brain is controlled by electronics. Like uh, electric magnetic pulses. wavelengths, isn't yeah. it? It's electronic wavelengths. Well, yeah. yeah. Like electronic pulses and stuff. Mm -hmm. So think of how an antenna works. It's not what actually holds the the ability to do these things, but it's like the communicator between the two. Yeah. Mind blown. That was fun, guys. <laughs> Did you follow us down that hole? I think it's it's an interesting concept, but um, what brought that up? We play the trial. Let's catch the game sometime if you're willing to downgrade from the multiplayer to Battle Royales. There's been a couple people that have said they only do the Battle Royale. Yeah, and so we he's been talking about doing it. He you just said you're not a big fan of it. I right? want to make an I Love Weed Live PlayStation group. I'm at level 35. That's my level. I'm at like 120, 122, he's something like that. He's an overachiever. I just learned that Claymores are my favorite friend in the game because I set one of those and then like 10 minutes later, I get something. Do you know back in the day, a doc was trying to prove you have a soul. I, I've seen that. He weighed <laughs> people to time to death right after almost each person was exactly 12 pounds later immediately after death. Your number is wrong. Cause I saw that exact same thing. It's not 12 pounds. It was a very small number, but they were all the same. It was like a, a point, blah, 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 pounds. But every single one was that same amount. Like some strange Yeah, it wasn't 12 off. pounds. I, I know what you're talking, Josh, and I don't want to seem like know-it-all, but I, I remember this specifically because I've referenced this many times in life. Um, but I've seen what he's talking about. The guy had these tables that he'd have these people on. As they died, it weighed them, and they did. They lost a little bit of weight. As they died, meaning they were already laying on the table like they knew that any day this person's going to die. Yeah. So they preemptively had them on this weighted table, whatever. Yep. And then exactly as they the died, time, they, the, they lost a little bit of weight. So the weight was always visible. So yeah. you knew as they, as they died that that was happening. Yeah. We'll pull it up There's sometime. so many variables that it could be. I know. That's why I... That's why you I can't definitively you can say that it was the soul. Right. Exactly. But, it could be even as much as the little bit of air that was in their lungs. But it's an interesting, like, uh, hypothetical or uh, hypothesis. It's an interesting hypothesis to prove out. True. Cheers. Dang, this wasn't crystallized when I put it in here. It was the, the head stash. The straw nana head stash. Look in there. There was no crystals in there. There's a and crystal now right in the middle. Crystal right there. And there was no crystals left. I <coughs> straw nana head stash. This was empty before. It looks like a pearl. I wonder if it's a bubble that cooled. That'd be cool. If it's a bubble that cooled. That's neat looking. Okay, guys. So I got to tell you. Um, you know how we've said that I was gonna make a bet with him one time. <laughs> um, where if I won, he had to change his legal name to C-H-R-O-Y, Troy. 
because that's how you like that's how you verbalize it is Troy. Like you don't say Troy. Nobody says Troy. They say Troy. Even he says Troy. <coughs> so I wanted <coughs> I wanted him to legally change his name to C H R O Y, and I made the bet yesterday, and I lost. <coughs> she did. I did. I lost. This is on the day that Memorial Day was. <coughs> I have to deal with specific days when I'm at work. <coughs> and I just happen to know for a fact that Memorial Day is the 25th. I thought it was the the Monday after that. I see. I thought it was the um, Monday after Josh and Jamie's wedding. That's when I thought it was. In my head, I always had Memorial Day <coughs> is going to be <coughs> after Josh and Jamie's wedding. So we could take a long <coughs> weekend because we wouldn't have to work on Memorial right. Day. We'd That's what I was thinking whole this whole fucking time. Since I don't know when did we find out that they were getting married in May? Uh, fuck. Months, me, months ago, I don't right? Remember. This whole fucking time, I thought the Monday after Josh and Jamie's wedding was Memorial Day. I made the bet and I lost. But I gotta tell you, I got lucky because he didn't make a cross bet. Like if you lose, then you have to do this or anything like that. And I was like, well, fuck, I got lucky on that one. This guy doesn't know how to bet. <laughs> Jim Bob's messaging me. Oh, yeah? Is yeah. he okay? Yeah, he's frustrated because his wedding's supposed to be on 710. I already told you that yesterday when we were talking about this. I know. Yeah. Yeah, and I I just talked to him. So um, basically nobody's showing up because they're going to somebody else's wedding that's on that day. So. Well, just because... Um, just because you're doing the giveaway on that day doesn't mean that you can't still go to his wedding. That's fact. I mean, I can still do. A you giveaway. can go live from his wedding doing the giveaway. That actually be pretty legit. Because they're gonna have a da they're gonna have a flower bar there. Last mm. I knew, they were having a flower bar at their wedding. I told them that we're gonna talk after we get done with live. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, do you say? Mountain or mount mountain? I say mountain. We're gonna go to the mountain. 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 I say like mountain. M O U N T I N. Mountain. Mountain. Like I don't say crayon. I say crayon. Crayon. But it, it's crayon. 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 Yeah, it is. Yeah. So we're just such lazy people. What giveaway? Uh, put your picture up there. Here, I got you. Here. <laughs> He's looking for the mouse. <laughs> this. We's going big, yo. We're giving away a Puffco Peak on 710. And there's four different ways to enter. Yep, you got four ways to enter. You can invite new members. You can be a top 10 contributor in the group. Uh, you can pay $5 and get an entry. Uh, do the photo shout out shout outs with hashtag I love weed live in them. People are doing like the, uh, like take a picture with holding, you know, something that says hashtag I love weed live, hashtag I love weed live in the description, you know, however you want to do it. Can I come? I've never been to a flower <laughs> wedding. Hit up Jim Bob. Yeah, Get up, Jim sure James loved, Faulkner. I'm sure he'd love to have everyone come. I'm going to talk to him here in a minute, but I'll let you know. They're in Oregon. Yep. He's <coughs> never been to a flower wedding. They'd probably like that. What's up, David Moore? Hi, with a GH. What's up, David Moore? Man, you have some beautiful plants. I watched your live, well, most of it this morning. You have some really pretty girls, man. And he made that um, growing topic last night, too, so... If yep. you want to post something, go to the group page. Then you can put your, you can just assign that that uh, topic to your post, and it'll put it in that category. Yep, I wanna, I wanna get enough people that know enough things to share what they know with the people that would appreciate it, and that's gonna be the people that take the time to go to topics growing. Yep. Those are gonna be the people that really want to know something or really want to share something. The ones that actually take the time to put it in a topic. Those are going to be the ones that you want to reach out to. Be like, hey, so you post a thing on how to do this. I was thinking about posting a thing about munchies too, and I was going to post my s'mores video. 
my indoor s'mores. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. Yep. So, I can't wait till we can start growing. I used to grow really good. I don't know a lot of the sciences of it. I know the basics of growing when you need uh, nitrogen, when you need uh, the phosphates and all the different lighting schedules and stuff like that. But I don't know specifics as to, okay, well, is your pH level at this? I have no fucking clue. Give me a test strip. I'll find out. But like, I think I, I feel like the best way to grow, I think to be able to control things a little more Indoors. is hydroponically. Oh, hydroponically, but you also have bigger you factors. Won't, you you get, won't have as much of a yield because, you know. Oh, no, you, you can get way more. You, you think so? Oh, yeah. You, well, your, space, you get your space is limited more so, though, if you're growing hydroponically. No, people have whole warehouses full of hydroponics. Really? Yeah. Hmm. It's I would have thought that your your level of space would have reduced with a hydroponic setup. No, so you have your everything plant underneath. per square foot would be less. No, you, some people have warehouses that are kind of like nothing but hydroponic tables, and then they got their plants on top, and above that they got the big ass lights. It's a warehouse. You literally just got everything right below all the plants. And then what you do when you top them, they start to branch off, mm -hmm. or you pinch it off, and so then you pull those back, and all the little. Uh, like leaves that are growing on there now they start growing up well they're going to start growing buds then you can top those then they branch off now you got a whole blanket of nothing but nugs on the top because the tree the the plant itself is actually pulled back like this all the buds are going to grow up towards the light so now you don't have all the extra shit like your your stems and stuff like that gaining all the light you got your flowers getting all the light so that way you can that makes sense it reduce it because the the leaves reduce the amount of light that it's getting because it comes up around it yeah. so if you pull it back then it gets if you pull it back it exposes it to more light which gives you more opportunities to get places to create a bud hmm. and then after you get a sprout going up this way and you top that and it branches off you don't want to do it too many times because you need strength to them still. Right. Because So you don't want them to get too tall. Right. You can okay. make a whole blanket of nothing but nugs just growing across the top of your plants. Hmm. It doesn't have to grow up like a plant. I always do manifolding. Plus, it also builds stronger stems, too. Hydroponics uh, is better. I am set up hydro and soil. Will you go up? I think we messed up a bunch. I need to learn how to grow because I'm tired of not having my home. She's in he Texas. said he can help. Hydro's better. Put them in the tab for growing, please, so we can get them. I would greatly appreciate it. Yeah, drop the links in the growing topic, David. Dude, any resources or whatnot that you have that you think would help, feel free to share them in these topics because that's what they're there for. Mm -hmm. And from what I see, at least on my end, when you go to the page, it, right underneath the announcements, it's got a thing that lets you pick topics. And there's even one called Did You Know? Because I know there's a lot of memes out there or just photos that will have like indica and then strains that are good for. Shit. Yeah, informative things like things that are good for, you know, back pain, things that are good for anxiety. And it kind of breaks it out in there. Yeah. So it's, it's like, an, like an informative place that doesn't really fit the other categories. Yep. Yeah. I just take a piss real quick. I'll be right back. <laughs> I got to take a dab real quick. I'll be right here. <laughs> so the first time this morning in almost a year of our relationship, I had to light a candle because his stankiness was leaking out from the bathroom. <laughs> it was atrocious. <coughs> Everything come out okay? Oh yeah. <coughs> I'm dangerous. I'm dangerous. Oh fuck. Oh my god, she <laughs> got up and she looked at him like what the fuck you doing? I was coming. <laughs> 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 <sighs> Oh. Yeah, she's a diva. I 
I should really clean this banger today. So you're going to do some more of the banger hits? Yeah. I still got a little bit of butane left. All of a sudden. Left. Huh? What? What? I was going to say, oh, all of a sudden he smoked with Sean yesterday because Sean got a new uh, rig with a, a banger set up to do dabs. And he was asking Troy, you know, what he should do. So Troy gets his old banger out and uh, starts, you know, showing him how to heat it up and stuff like that. And ever since then, he's been like on this little, is it like a nostalgic thing? Kind of. I haven't done it in a while. Yeah. I can see that. Troy, light a candle with your stinky ass. I told him. <laughs> It was bad. I said, you're leaking. And then I lit mm -hmm. a candle and I went down to the amenity. Um, hold on. She lit a candle. It's over here by the candle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can smell that candle, too. Thank you, babe. Uh-huh. Can I have the... Hmm. Can I have the mouse? Catch you guys later. My phone's going to die. We'll post those links and pics a bit later. Today. Okay, have a good day, David. Day, David. That's like a tongue twister. Have a good, have a good day. day, dude. <laughs> it needs clean. It looks very burnt. Yeah, it's because some of the stuff on the backside is. Yeah. Oh, it's milky. That's going to be a good one. <coughs> it's super milky. You guys ever burn? Nag Champa incense. I've been obsessed with them. So I love Nag Champa. I was never really, I never really liked incense. I, it would set off our smoke alarms. It would give me a headache. <coughs> Whenever I, like. I, I would try to burn incense in my room when I was a teenager. And every time I did, I would get a headache. So I just kind of scooted away from that. <coughs> <coughs> Those really aren't that bad on me. I do really need to clean out the banger, though. Yeah. My turn. Yep. Thank you. <coughs> <coughs> Man. What is nag champa? Is it a, a like a hurt, like a spice? Um, it's a certain kind of incense. That's all I know. Okay. It's um, they come in like a red box or a blue box, and they. It would look very oriental. Uh, well, very or ornate, not oriental. But it's like okay. this, and then they've got like little bags with the incense in. <coughs> they smell really good. I guarantee you they have them at the corner store. I haven't seen them, but I'm about positive they have them. Actually, Remember when we will. tried to go into that uh, gem store down in downtown Seattle and you couldn't go in because they had the incense or something. The smell was so strong. About choking me the fuck out. You couldn't out. go inside. <coughs> I couldn't breathe. <coughs> Literally, it just made it impossible for me to breathe. But it smelled good, but man, it was so strong. <coughs> yeah, we were just exploring that day. We should do that with Tangie someday. I miss those days where we could just go walk around downtown Seattle. Yep. Pop in and out of stores, check it out. Yeah. Go to the pier. Yes. We've had a lot of fun days going down to Seattle. Now you go down to Seattle, it's dead. <laughs> we can't go to the Mo Pop anymore. No, we paid for a fucking membership that we can't even go to. We got mem we got a membership to this um <coughs> Museum, Museum of, of Modern Pop, pop Culture. Museum of Pop Culture. You said modern pop. Culture. Isn't it? Yeah, it's not modern. Museum of Pop Culture. <laughs> they have all the props from all the movies that we grew up with. The music. Um, like all the stuff. Some of the stuff, for, like the props from Lord of the Rings and stuff. The movie. Uh, Freddy's Hand is there. Um, the nemesis from Resident Evil. Uh, that big suit that's there. Blade's costumes there. 
Like they get uh, <coughs> guitars from musicians from forever back. There's a whole like <coughs> uh, exhibit dedicated to Pearl Jam. Because <coughs> they're from Seattle. Um, one for Jimi Hendrix because he's from Seattle. Um, there was a, a Minecraft exhibit. There's a tattoo exhibit going on. There's like a um, fairies. There's like a fairy fantasy, fantasy one. one where you can see like the Wizard of Oz um, costumes. costumes and uh, like the the ring from Lord of the Rings. Yeah, just like so many some really of the cool swords things. from some of the characters. There's a sci-fi one too. <coughs> I hear you. I'm oh, pissed. Shit. I got season passes to Six, Six Flags, Flags for my whole family, and we can't even go. That is bullshit. Have you ever been to Cedar Point in Sandusky, Ohio, Rob? That is the best place. After you go there, though, I'm gonna tell you, it's kind of like you know. It might ruin Six. It Flags might ruin for you. everything else for you because they got the best <laughs> of everything. Cedar Point <laughs> literally does. That, that's a, it's a fact. Or people that maybe are diehard Six Flags people don't like Cedar Point. <coughs> Oh, because of the devotion to like spice. sometimes people are um like this is what I like I don't I don't like the competitors sort of thing but there is only one there is only one Cedar Point there's multiple Six Flags so if you have a membership to Six Flags then wherever you're like traveling to you could go in that state to the Six Flags at that location right so I just tripped myself out I got like a, a beauty mark right there or skin tag or whatever the fuck that is looks like a mole a mole okay. So no. I just went like this because it itched right here, and I was like, oh. And it looked like it went – like when I scratched it, it went here. I was like, what the fuck? And I scratched it again, and it went back there. I was like, what the fuck? I think my eyes fucked with me. Like it was a flea? Yeah, I don't know. Like something his mole on his arm was a flea. I, I don't know if it was a flea. It's just <laughs> – I thought it moved. And I was like, oh, that fucked with me. Like I, I scratched it like this because something Okay, itched. did you see it move and feel it, or did you just see it? I just saw it. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. My mole moved. I'm a mole mover. <laughs> mole mover. Keep moving, moving, moving. Mole. Keep moving, move, move, move. Mole. <laughs> Never been. I'll have to check it out. You have to check it out, man. It's Google well it. it. Google Oop. it. Don't Google it. Google it. <laughs> Not this. This. There's a big difference. Oogling. You do this. Googling. You do this. Oogling. Googling. That actually works out pretty good. Yeah. What if you Google Google? I don't know if you can Google Google, Google, Google. but you could probably Google Google. Yes. You could Google Google, but you couldn't Google Google. Troy, you need to stay away from those crystals. Don't make you see shit. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> They're in my proximity. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, my gosh. Nice sesh, y'all. We're off to have some coffee and breakfast. Oh, fuck Breakfast. Yeah. Breakfast. <laughs> breakfast. We should eat some breakfast. Want to? Where? Picking up breakfast is not the same. Breakfast has been very disappointing because you can't eat it at the restaurant. And breakfast is one of those things that you got to eat it when it comes right off the grill. Ha. That's when you got to eat it. I made some bomb-ass cauliflower um, hash with sausage and eggs and cheese on top. It was really fucking good. I put garlic in there and salt and pepper. Mmm. Yummy. You guys have a good day, Whitney, Ronnie. Have a good day, you two. We'll get the day going. Much love. Yeah, I don't know what we're going to do today. What do you want to do? It looks like the sun's going to come out. Yeah, let's check out... Uh, oh, fuck, we've been smoking this. We have to limit our... Driving at yeah, least we thought it was gonna rain all day. Um, I was gonna say dog park. Let's. Oh yeah, dog park. Yeah, but we gotta sober up just a little bit before we go public. Okay. Yeah, maybe um, we can walk and see if there's any place that has breakfast going. Maybe that cottage place. Potentially. Because you could walk up and order. Well, it's almost lunchtime. Yeah, I I would be down for lunch. What do you teriyaki? Um. Uh, I'm watching it's Sunday you guys right live over. while cooking bacon, bacon, fried potatoes, and eggs. Oh, oh. man. That's it's so raining so in St. Louis. It was St. raining Louis. here early, but earlier, but now it's not. It's yeah, like sunshine now. All right, you guys. I think that's what we're going to do. I think we're going to do the damn dang. We're going to do the damn dang. We're going to do the damn dang. Dang, 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 dang. 
Gang, gang. Gang, gang. Stay high, stay beautiful, stay humble. Bye. Do you love me, bye? I love me, bye.